don't have to do anything, right? It's really easy. Like usually you have a sleep during the day and you don't need to, so it's pretty easy I'd say. I mean, you're not warming up, you're not it's pretty easy. Uh, you get more frustrated with some of the guys per se themselves. You know, when you spend hours doing a certain thing and then they go back and do something, you know, even though that you've gone over certain things. So I suppose patience is the key when you're coaching. I mean, and you know, they're all responding well, so I'm looking at them now, making sure they're warming up. So. Um, I mean, I took on coaching sort of as a necessity for the club, and the main thing was engaging the young kids to be playing. I mean, they can do their swimming and their gym anywhere, uh, as long as they're at the evening sessions and you quickly tell who's fit and who's not. So all the young guys are pretty fit and I'm happy with it. And the main thing I've taken, you've got to enjoy your sport. So you've got to keep a balance. Like if you flog, flog a dead horse, it's not going to win you a Melbourne Cup. So most of the guys are engaged, they're playing. You know, hopefully you play through when they're working. Uh, we lose a lot of players once they finish uni in our sport, so if I can keep them working, playing, enjoying the sport, then I believe I build a bigger base, a bit, lot more kids playing, and then, you know, obviously talent comes through. I mean, Dad's obviously was a real uh, solid stalwart of the game. He's, you know, very, uh, I suppose, he, he's got the game at heart. He's a very good defender. He's defensively minded. You know, the one-on-one -on -one skills in defending, I'm probably taking a lot from him. Uh, that The game has lost the one-on-one -on -one defending from the heaviness of the game the last 10 years and the new rule changes are getting back to individual skill work, you know, one-on-one. -on -one. So I think I'm ahead of a lot of coaches because, you know, the whole game I was one-on-one -on -one confident and as were a lot of good players. and. I just try and install the ability to be accountable one-on-one -on -one and then, you know, fit into team systems and structures is what basically everyone does. You know, a bit of a background of what I do now, I put companies together, you know, like I, obviously I help with GRG with Jeff Barrow from Melbourne and the, bring them back to Yowie and I've got a gold mine in Peru and a silver mine in bloody Canada and I've got a couple of limestone licences in Mozambique and. I'm about as busy as one um, bricklayer in Baghdad, as Kenny would say, but the reality is it's just, you know, it's good for me, it's a balance. So, you know, I'm, I've got a lot going on in my life, which is, you know, driven by finance and making money. As I stopped in 08 to do that, you know, didn't want to be a 32-year-old playing my fourth Olympics and, you know, have nothing behind me, but I made that choice. And for me, it's, you know, it balances me, you know, it gives me something to detach. I suppose some people do yoga. I'm doing coaching, so go figure, you know. We had, after 08, we had quite a good strong side. We're historically, obviously, we're the most successful side in National League. You know, and I've obviously won six of those and happy with that. But, you know, the reality is eventually got to transition. I could still be playing now if I really wanted to, but, you know, there's a few good lefties coming through. I think it's a good sign that we're creating, you know, people in set positions, which is good. We've probably got three real good lefties, um, yeah, and that, that's pretty good. Where some sides are struggling, even our Australian side's struggling to find one. You know, we're aiming to win. There's no two ways about it. I don't think any team, when we're playing well, will, will beat us. And you know, it's hard sitting on the sideline when there's final series. You know, usually I've always put the togs back on and come back for a bit. But you know, it's. Reality is, is teams at teams win your games and win your championships. Individuals can take you so far, but you know you've got to be a team and you've got to work as a team and you actually got to play to your team strengths. And good teams do that, and you know bad teams play to their individuals. And the reality is, is there's a lot of finger pointing. So as long as everyone's, you know, we win and lose as a team, there's no your fault, my fault stuff. And I'm happy, and I'm happy to coach for them.